So, it looks to me like, if I look down the side of the boat right here, I bet I've got four to six inches over here, maybe two to three. That's pretty close to what it would need to be, I think. So right there is maybe three. That might maybe maybe three. So it seems to me like the width of the axle is just about perfect for the boat. The bracing, what am I trying to say? Not the bracing, but the, uh, the spring shackle. See how it sits underneath this. Now keep in mind, this is a totally homemade trailer and this is uh, like old plumbing pipe or something like that. It's, it's, uh, it's really nothing special, but in a way, I think that's a little bit of what makes it cool. It's absolutely like 50s style. This looks like something someone could have made in the 50s. I could, I could cut, there's two, there's two brackets here. I could cut that inside bracket off, bring it to the outside, leave that bracket there, because you'll notice that bracket looks like it comes down just inside where the bolts would go. So I could bring that outside bracket out here, put a brace up top, hold it. It's called it on the other side. That's very similar. You notice that inside bracket sits Oh, almost right at the inside of those bolt holes. So if I did the same thing here, uh, that would, what I'm getting to is we could move that spring over. If that spring was moved over so it sat right here where these bolt holes are, which is just inside of that, that would be just about right. Now another thing I could do, if I wanted to lower it, if I wanted to lower the the axle well I mean I could I could drill a hole higher up here and there and bring the axle outside bolt it outside here do the same thing back here this is mounted on a what is that it ain't nothing. That's not even a pipe. That's a piece of, it's kind of a piece of nothing right there, ain't it? I mean, yeah. So, yeah, that ain't much. This spring ain't much. It's got two leaves in it. It probably is, uh, I would guess, sort of like a trailer spring because it's not strong enough to hold a whole car up, I don't think. Uh, hmm. But that axle would be a good fit, I believe, under this. So, squatting down made me dizzy. I talked about that earlier when I was out doing some wood, some wood sawing out there that makes me dizzy when I squat down. But I can see where this trailer could be modified enough to get this axle under it. Now, the worst thing about putting this axle under that trailer is I'm not going to sell whatever I make to go with that axle because I think it's too cool to let anybody else buy it off of me unless they want to pay quite a lot for it. Because you just don't find that many 33 Plymouth springs. The early Mopar springs had a unique, not spring, axle. Them early Mopar axles had that unique design where they kind of swoop down in the, in the middle, which makes them different than other like a Ford axle would be straight, a Chevy axle would be straight. Mopar made that little swoop in the middle, which yeah, it just looks classier. So, let me think on this. Because also, that axle is mounted on top. This axle could be mounted on the bottom. But I could move that axle up and have it mounted higher than the spring is there. I could gain 
If I took that spring from here and mounted it up here, if I took it from here to here, that would give me like a two inch drop. It put this about two inches lower than it is now. Which would put the wheel, well right now the wheel is about that much below where the spring would sit. And then about that much more, we put the wheel up alongside the boat. We'll bring the boat down Could bring the boat down about six inches lower so that it would be down in and cradling that axle. Huh. I'm going to study on this a little bit. I kind of like it. I think that would look cool. And Plus I've got these fenders. These are old whole claw trailer fenders. See right there? Whole claw. Which were which were, you know, boat whole claw. I don't know if they still make trailers or not. They used to make boat trailers. And uh, those are some pretty cool fenders. I could mount them right to the axle. Pretty cool under that boat. Sure would. Huh. Something to think about. <laughs>